There are three ways to use raw power. Standalone as a file browser, standalone using the photo library, and a photos editing extension. In this video, I will be giving you a brief tour of the main interface for raw power 3 for the file browser. Now, for the most part, the app works the same way whether you're using the file browser or the photo library to manage your images. But I'll be showing you some specific features of the file browser in this video. Raw Power is a sandboxed application, which means that it has limited access to the files on your computer. So rather than just seeing your entire hard drive here, you choose which folders Raw Power will see. The way you do that is by clicking the Add Folder button here. It'll bring up a panel, and you can pick a directory. Maybe that's your pictures directory, or in this case, a directory called Photos, which is actually uh, in a different location. And I can open that and see a whole bunch of, of, of folders. I can remove folders anytime by clicking on them and either picking File, Remove Folder from Browser, or just hitting the backspace key. Favorites are a interesting feature of raw power that lets you deal with deep hierarchies or just places you like to go to frequently. Say I want to go to this folder uh, on a frequent basis. Then I can click the Favorites button in the toolbar, or I could also take a folder and just drag it up here. I can remove folders through the contextual menu or by just clicking the Favorite button again. Raw Power has support for multiple tabs and windows. What that means is you can click on a single uh, folder here, and then like you would do in Safari, make a new window, or you can press uh, the command key while clicking on a folder and it'll make a tab for you. Now you have two tabs and can quickly jump between different places as well. Tabs and windows are saved, so as if you quit the application and bring it back up, you'll come back with these same locations. You can make new tabs also with the toolbar or with the file menu. As you can see, the raw power toolbar contains a lot of useful commands. You can configure the toolbar by right-clicking and picking Customize, or through the View menu. You can rearrange items in the toolbar either by going to Customize or by just holding the Command key down and dragging buttons around. The raw power interface is customizable, and you can hide and show panels, for example, this button controls the visibility of the browser on the left. Over here on the right side, there's a button for the info panel right here. And also the thumbnails. The application shows images in three principal ways. This one is the viewer plus a film strip. If I click this button to hide the viewer, I go to a grid. And then I can just arrow through images through here and also change the thumbnail size to make them to make them bigger. Another view is to hide the thumbnails and just have the viewer. That gives me the largest image possible. Thumbnail only view is good for going through a bunch of images to find one quickly or to just get a quick overview of the contents of that folder. And as mentioned before, there's a wide range of sizes for the thumbnails. You'll also see here sorting at the top. You can sort by the file name or by the date of the file. This is not the capture date of the file as stored inside EXIF, but the actual creation date of the file. Usually those are the same things, but sometimes they can be different. You'll also notice as I click through different folders, at the upper left corner, there's a backward and forward. This also works like a web browser, and you can actually click through your history. You can delete images in raw power as well. To do that, in the file menu, you can move items to trash, or you can right click, or you can hit the command and delete buttons. This operation is undoable. When using the file browser, you can apply ratings, flag images, or use finder tags. These tags are synchronized to the tags in the finder. So if I assign a purple tag to this image, that same image in the finder will show the same purple tag. 
Likewise, if the file already had a tag in it, raw power will read it automatically. There are other videos posted which cover things like ratings, editing, and filtering. I'd like to close showing you a few things that you might find useful. If you click on a folder, it'll only show you the images directly in that folder and nothing in the subfolders. For example, there's nothing but folders in this thing. However, there's a preference. If I pick display contents of subfolders, you'll see that now everything appears that is inside that folder going all the way down to any subfolders. Also, when exporting, you can control which directory is shown in the save panel to start. By default, it will show you the last directory that you saved or opened. But if you use this preference right here, which is called when exporting use current directory as default, then it will use the actual directory that you're looking at in the browser at that time and use that as the directory for saving files. That can be really handy if you've got a bunch of RAWs, for example, and after editing, you want to create JPEGs right next to them. And that's a quick tour of the user interface for the file browser. Thanks for watching.